Valentine's is coming. Where is your boyfriend? You are sitting on the podcast. Still no boyfriend. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Fat Cats podcast. This is the meow edition of the podcast. <laughs> ah, and I have some amazing women who are joining me on the podcast today. My name is Portia Loyo. We are at the beautiful gardens in Nigeria. And of course, we are winding down after a long day with a very cold nail special. But uh, before we can continue, let me first introduce you to the beautiful Mama Sitters. I will start with uh, Madame Liz, who is right next to me. You can tell me your name, what you do for a living, and of course your affiliation to rugby. You could be a fan, a wag, a girlfriend, a wannabe, a TM like someone, but I shut up. Okay, please. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Elizabeth Mafuta. <clears throat> I work with Glovo as an account manager mm. and with rugby, I'm a fan. You're just a fan. Yeah. Ah, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia. Hi, everyone. My name is Cynthia Roy Nabukera. I'm a businesswoman. I, in rugby, I'm a photographer. Professionally, I'm a journalist. Um, yeah. Miss Desire. Yes, I've been dropping titles. Now I can't speak anymore. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Desire. Leah Mohenda. I, uh, what else did you say? I mean, you forged that Leah name right now because people are going to be watching. Hater. No, I've never known it. And we've been friends. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you're killing anyway. my shine. I've been practicing my accent all oh, day. Oh, okay. Leah Mohenda. What do you do in rugby? What do I do in rugby? I uh, came as a fan. I am now a team, interim. Interim team. Oh, what club? We didn't say our clubs, by the oh, way. Um, yeah, uh, Cubs affiliate. Mm-hmm. Cynthia? Um, I came as a fan, too, in rugby. But um, <coughs> I'm now a photographer. And um, XTM runs. And um, acting TM Victoria Sharks. And that is uh, Victoria University. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Liz, you like me. Don't worry. Just say your surface things. We move. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask. Uh-huh. Can I have all teams as my team? Yes, it's possible. <laughs> if you, you're in every team, Liz. No. You don't. Uh-huh, what team do you support? Team. What team do you support? I love teams. Aha. Uh-huh. 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 Me, I'm Portia from Pirates. But I want us to start the podcast by singing a very a song that's very special to me. Mm-hmm. And I'll start the line, then you can pick up, right? Okay. We know it. So Valentine's is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Liz, where is your boyfriend? I am seated at home. Where is your boyfriend? I'm home. Eee! Where is your boyfriend? Desire, don't answer. Your things are complicated. <laughs> Well, it's very lovely to have you ladies here on the Fat Cats podcast. Um, normally, we take a break and have the ladies and, you know, get to understand rugby from the female perspective. And, uh, you know, rugby through a woman's eyes, rugby through a woman's lens, per se. And let me start off with what is the one stereotype you do not like about rugby and women? It's a very male sport. We have to admit. So whenever, let, let's say, like you tell people, oh, I'm going for a rugby game. What's that one stereotype where you feel like, banange, not again? I'll start with you, Liz. You have a man in rugby. That's why you're in rugby. <laughs> yes. You're uh-huh. getting a boyfriend. You're looking for, mm. like, like you just can't love the sport. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cynthia? <laughs> uh, it comes along <laughs> with so many things. Uh-huh. Wait a girl. I mean, what's a quetega is what? I don't even know how best to put it. Quetega. Like, <laughs> like you're putting yourself there. Like you're putting yourself there. Uh huh, uh huh. Um, like, what are you really doing there? Like, I, are you also a player? Because people always ask me, are you a player? Because I think, uh, because of my size. Eh? Mm. So people always mistake me for being a player. Okay, if you're not a player, then what? What is it you're doing at a rugby mm-hmm. page? <laughs> yeah. So, unless someone knows. Uh, what you are in the rugby circles, mm. they always think of Kwetega. I know, I know. It's you, crazy. 
it <laughs> but some of us quite a god and it worked eh? mm. Mm. it's still <laughs> working is the person who doesn't know what quite a god means desire <laughs> what's the one stereotype you really do not like uh, yeah she said quite a what yeah it, it's the same all the time oh so you play mm. but with your body size i don't think you play mm. you're going to pick men Yeah it's always about picking men. Mm. That's it really. But it's it's a very boring stereotype like yeah. surely it's 2024 we should do better. Yeah. I really think we should do better because there's a lot that women do. I mean there's a meow heading the podcast right now and I think we really Only need to, cut, really to cut. Do you understand? Do you understand? But you said something very important uh, Cynthia um you play and there's that that stereotype. If ever you were to play have you played before? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Interesting. Tell me about it. Um it was I remember it was my female team Iwis going to play mm. and we were out of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> was, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happening at the technical area. Uh. They were telling they were telling us if you're not playing this game, mm. Iwis is going to go out. Mhm. Mm-hmm. I remember what KPA. <laughs> and I'm sitting in my corner you, you know for the golfers be. I was sitting in my corner like watching everything. And then like he was TM was crying mm. like before I wish yeah. I didn't have this injury me I would have gone to play. And you know what go. happened? Mhm. Coach Lumo came for me hit up. Hit up. You're going to go there. Mm. and feel those numbers mm. no Cynthia we just need you to feel numbers eh? the game needs to go on oh, wow. just be there I was like you guys do you even know what you're talking about mm. you're pushing me like go I was like okay now because whatever was at that technical area was a mess yeah I had to get up and get to that pitch and trust me I played 80 minutes what was an wow. experience like that for you though <laughs> Jesus um me being a senior member yeah at the club i did not want to show these young girls because most of the iwis girls are young i didn't want to show them that i'm also losing hope or losing mm, it mm. like we can do this we can do i was there i didn't know where the ball, okay i knew the ball had to go back but i didn't know now what to do you don't have to put the elbows it was crazy, <laughs> I managed. <laughs> yeah. I managed. I played 80 minutes yeah. and yeah, I, it I was also, good. After the game I was like, oh, I did it. Oh, this is what it's like. <laughs> you know one of the things I never do is criticize rugby players. I can criticize the game but not the player because I don't think I can even jog that pitch. Let's be guided. Okay. Now 80 minutes of someone tackling, especially the babes, the ones that tackle and will Every time I'm like oh god oh god my body parts kudos kudos baby girl hey, and you leave was out, eh? have you played before rugby no not I rugby know, yes. if you were to play if you were to play what position do you see that you'd play most nan nan eh? it's not your thing it's not your cup of tea can never be me <laughs> <laughs> desire uh i'm scared of contact I've I've had the sound e- the bodies make on e- each desire the which contact are you scared area. of I promise Have you heard how those people hit each other e- you desire hear their hits from all the way these ends mm. So imagine my skinny self in there but I think I'd I'd shine as a what Scum half I think Really really because they just make noise have you seen wanyama he's the most scary <laughs> shout out to <laughs> wanyama he has got in uh, props even before the pod so, properly yeah, starts I yeah i think i would do well just at the scrum though after that i'm i'm good i think i'd be a good winger a good what a winger you can't run to say how do you life. know have we run together how do you know what do if it's my hidden talent you can't even jog that the entire jog jog and run at two very <laughs> <laughs> Do you know running and you know that anytime you're <laughs> someone going to be is tackled right? down, and someone <laughs> is chasing you. Me, let me just say every time I watch these rugby people, local, international, I'm like brave. Sometimes I watch like Adrian Casito playing. Mm. I'm like today might be the day because how do you throw your body like that and just and with no care in the world. Before we can proceed, Cynthia, I just want to applaud you and give you this uh, quick minute to talk about 
the things I've seen the work you do with foundations and charities and now we are pushing for one of you who has cancer and I think for me that is why it's very important to have women I'm not saying men will not do it but the dedication and passion that comes with women we've done this for other people in the rugby community and uh, how is that going right now um it it was not easy to start because mm. uh, Daniel was diagnosed. I think it's now a year mm. behind, but uh, we were pushing internally. Yeah, and then along the way, suddenly he lost his girlfriend, so it broke him emotionally. Until he finished his uh, radiotherapy and chemo, and then the doctors were like, "It's now." We're going to do surgery. And getting to the costs of surgery, I'm like, 13 a.m., like, ah, where is this money going to come from? Mm. Like, I was like, when we sat with the Rams XCOM and technical meeting, they told me, okay, now, you're our publicity manager. What do you think, or how do you think we can package this out to the rugby family? Because I know we might not hit the 13, but at least they never disappoint. They might come through. Because, uh, Pasha, we've done this for Jude. Do you remember? Yeah, we've, we've so done it for a couple of people. Day, yeah. The day I broke that news on the Rams pages, in fact, I broke down. I was like, uh, now, every, it, it went viral. Hmm. And immediately I started receiving money on my lines, people's opinions, people started calling in, people were concerned. And I was like, oh, yeah, it might work out. So we've been collecting money since then. Right now, we are not yet there, but uh, I think we had around 3 a.m. And then when we, are, we approached the doctors, they told us, no. We cannot start surgery with just before that. the funds are raised. Mm. Like, yeah, the guy is in pain. Mm. I mean, can't you just please? Because this is this is our our. I don't want to call him a boy, but this is a player that went to the <coughs> hospital alone, mm. and the news was told to him that you're going for surgery. He was alone, with no guardian, and then you're telling him you need 13 million yeah. minus. Like, he's alone. No, like, he didn't know where to start from. But I told him, let us try our best. I pray it works out. And I'm so, so grateful. I'm so grateful. We have not yet hit the target, but at least we have pushed. We have pushed to the edges. To the extent that uh, me, even when uh, I got to know the doctors had allowed to shed you, to reshed you, because that surgery was supposed to to happen on 8th mm. January and then it did not happen so when they decided to reschedule I took that as a win it was a win for me because they were taking us up and down up and down and then they are, they are, they are meandering eh? and then you're like please this boy is in pain and we need to get how much are you on now how much are you on now right now we have 8 million 194,000 oh, wow. Wow. And I would personally love to applaud the rugby fraternity. Mm. You people have come through and you people have been there for the Rams family. On behalf of Rams and on behalf of Balam, we cannot thank you enough. You know, one of the things I absolutely love about the rugby family, and I often talk to Desire about this, when I lost my mom, I didn't have a starting point. And rugby held me. Like, you have no idea. We had vigil for four days, and these guys were there for four days. Every other day, like, a whole batch of people, about pirates, about cops. Like, people just Even kept coming. Noise, yes, noise. and you're like, wait. Even this person, like, has... And, and yes, I, w I would like to applaud the whole rugby community for that. Just a reminder, we are at the gardens. If you want to have a good time, if you want to relax in the evening, if you want to escape the traffic, please... Pass by the gardens in Nigeria. Grab yourself a cold Nile special. Yes, as you can relax. Now, we do know that rugby 
it's it's why we are here it takes up our lives sometimes we date people and things don't work out sometimes we get jobs in there desire i wasn't talking about you by the way My, i'm you just seated across me so when i say some things it looks like i've been attacked from no <laughs> I think I wish we had Have you tried to date a rugby player in Ghana? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be like Cynthia, say your things. Okay, okay let's please. let's make it. Liz, <laughs> haven't you tried to date a rugby player in Ghana? No. Hey, Liz. Mm, I'm going to date a Ghana in Okay, let me let, let me just ask this. I want to ask something else, but let me just ask this. If you were not supporting your club, which other club would you be supporting? Definitely not Pirates, but uh-huh. <laughs> 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 anang, anang. Ah, anyway, you, you know in Pirates we don't have opportunities to be managers. Even <laughs> sailors have management already. So what team? Uh, for me it would be Mongers. It would be Mongers. Yeah. Why Mongers? Why Mongers? Um, I grew up in Entebbe. Ah. Mongers Beach is used to be right behind my home so i used to see cobs coming to play mongas yeah so uh, actually that's my affiliate team i just didn't when the people that i knew there left i just i decided when i joined campus and i could properly go to a rugby game yeah i stuck with cobs then but it oh, was mongas yeah fair enough fair enough cynthia um <laughs> If you're not in Rams, say it. Even Let me tell you. As pirates, we know everyone. We know. We know. You don't have to say it publicly. We we know. Even that one. You say, oh, she has over explained, going to tell me what. I think it would be Walukuba. Oh, Walukuba. That's a good choice. Why Walukuba? Uh, simply because, I think, because I'm a Ram, I love uh, building. Oh, the underdog effect. Yeah, I oh. believe in... Uh, creating mm. so at least walukuba has proven yeah yeah they really have the test of time so it would be walukuba trust me yeah actually shout out to their coach he's done a good job mm -hmm. liz go out to gambia or international oh, no oh you have a club uh-huh yeah. let's talk about that a club. Uh, i'm a hippos fan uh-huh i'm a buffaloes fan hippos and buffaloes yes. uh-huh i must be a segway fan to be fair hmm. Oh yeah, because yeah, he was in both. Ah, uh, but if not that too, if not those, I think I would go for pirates. Why? Heartbreak. The fact that I have friends in pirates, everyone mistakes me for a pirate, and ah. I am always attacked because I'm a pirate. If I wasn't a pirate, you what club do you think I would be in? What club do I look Ooh. like? Impis. I look like Impis. No, you don't actually. But I understand that's where you are. Uh -huh. Yes, so I love I love you a pirate. Uh hippos. You see pirates people are noisy. Mm. So hippos. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's be guided on hippos noise. I'm hosting and there's a hippo here. <laughs> what shall we do? There, there's noise. <laughs> there's <laughs> noise and there's kelele, but let's just no, be guided. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a difference. My there's hippo, a difference. You guys will start making noise. Uh, uh, me uh, 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 when you started uh, uh, winning, you went uh, uh, from keeping quiet to pirates. No, drugs, no. Drugs. You guys wouldn't say anything. No, let me be. Let me guide you guys yeah, on the pirates' be, uh, noise. A buffalo. Hmm. I tell you, so let's over be guided. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me tell you about pirates' noise. What people do not understand, mm -hmm. pirates' noise has always been there. Mm -hmm. We were just the first club to properly embrace digital yeah so with the embracing of digital it looked like we were more noisy but no it was just that now most people were seeing our noise per se whether we were winning or not because we quickly understood digital and up to now you can argue but we are the people who understand it the most i think then, you have the biggest young fan base you, then there's mccary they just haven't known how to tap into that have you been at the <laughs> english game Yes, I have. At home? Yes, I have. It's like a school Play assembly. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Regardless, the team they are playing. Yeah. My dear. There are a lot of you people who are there. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so I, I, I think the trick in the noise, and people always say, it's, it's in how you make the digital noise. Whether you've won, whether you've not won. I mean, there are days we are having Man Crash Monday. Then we sign up Roy, who has never played for the club. 
Naye mujachi ulira. You know Roy has never played for Pirates. Oto tisa tisa. Na yenga mujachi ulira digital. Elifana nyi. Otisa kaka. Ka, ah, those are Cobb's problems. You know those are the people who banter and Cobb's have been on the bench for a minute. I see where this conversation is going. But let me ask, what is a typical rugby day for you? Because for me, eh, Saturday, it's I don't even bother making other plans. What is it like for you, Cynthia? Uh, to me... From morning, from the time you wake up. I think my rugby day starts on Friday. Yeah. Huh? Because the moment it is Friday, I'm like, tomorrow is a Saturday. Nothing comes between my rugby day, not even family, I'll say. Because recently I've just missed my brother's wedding. Well Are you serious? <laughs> because For rugby? <laughs> because of rugby, I swear to God. This is how much... You uh, crossed the line on that one. Um, I love the sport. Uh, to say... Uh, um, a small bit of it. How I joined rugby is kind of funny. We have time. We have time. <laughs> Does it have a boy involved? We really yeah, have time. A, where my love draws, eh? mm, I joined rugby. My brother plays for Rams. Mm. And uh, he was coming from training. He fell into a gang of thieves. Eh? So they beat up his jaw and broke it. And stole phones. What, what? You know how thieves can be. And then everyone was calling on my phone. How is Joel? How is Joel? And then he had to go for surgery. And then Jude tells us, uh, guys, just buy the equip. I'm going to do the surgery for free. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay. There is um. a family this other side. This guy has a family this other side. Mm. Because he used to play rugby in London College. And I was like, Gwe, Chari, Gwe. Our dad didn't like anything. Anything to do, to do with rugby, yeah. So this nigga passes through me to buy him boots. Cynthia, bring me boots. Ah, boots. Eh? Did. And I'm like, oh, okay, my friend wants boots, but he puts on my size. Mm. Oh, wait, is him wanting? So when he gets beat up and all sorts of things, these guys are calling me, oh, this is Cindy. Uh, how is Joel? I'm a friend from rugby. I'm Those were not his man. friends. Let's be guided, first wow. of all. The Cindy's. That's mental, man. Huh? Yeah. The okay, Cindy's. Fine. Mm. No, they, they always call me Cindy. Mm. So oh, it's yeah. quite Cindy. <laughs> what about this podcast? What, what was your new name? Leah. Leah. <laughs> Leah, <laughs> Cindy. So, it's rugby community, when you, you see these babes. City, so, I'm a whole city. You can. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, they start inviting me for, for their games. Yeah. I didn't want to go. And then... When I got a heartbreak, to cut the long story short. short. <laughs> yes, this is where we have reached. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, boy child can, eh? can show you Shege. So can, can, we stay, can we stay on the boy no, child? I just, I can, can we stay on the boy child no, just no, a little no, bit? No, no, no. There is no was going away when there is... There is no, it was not. It was not because yeah. this is before I joined rugby. Okay. So after that, ah, Cynthia, 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 I don't drive me like speed. <laughs> Let's talk about the boy children in uh -huh. rugby. You know, like after games, people be there <laughs> coupling, they be there people. Life can be hard when you're single because those things of saying, hi, my name is Leah Desire. Sometimes my friends call me. <laughs> it can be complicated. Yes, remember when I said I was being attacked? Let me, let me just ask a flat question. And I don't want you to overthink it. Uh -huh. Just give me one name. One Who name. is the cutest rugby player in your opinion? Yes, Just one, one name. Sips drink. Mama Cynthia. <laughs> Mama Liz. Oh, okay, you say five. Say five and you. Ha! Ha! Me can I answer? Please. <laughs> moment, like, By all means. That particular person you mentioned. No, but there's they one are judging you. you say. Yeah? On your list, I already know one person. But if you say him, that's mm. Nalan Boyd. That's a given already. Just five others. Five other cute rugby players. I think um, the, the the big guy from Corbs, what's his name? Oh, we're going to judge you, but... Colin. Yes, I think Collins is oh. really cute. Chimboa. Uh -huh. You can't be in my test buds. No, it's Kawa. For okay. us, for us, at least. I Chimboa is really, really cute. Uh -huh. um, let me see. I like big guys. I like big guys. Yeah, Chimboa, Didi. 
Didi, ah, Didi, Didi is a ladies man. He even yes, did that bro. video of using ladies. And now ladies. you know next, my job. My job. No, my job again. What are you about? But I like those book guys. Those guys who look like uh, Chimbo, uh, Bruno. You know those. Which Bruno? Okay. Bruno, Bruno. Okay. Akampa. <laughs> Those are those are my types. Uh -huh, number yeah. four, those are three. Hey, yeah. let me also think about the other men that confuse me in rugby. We shall wait. Yeah, so Liz, over to you. Hey. Yeah, we are not thinking. We no no no. We've said we are not thinking about it too much. Hmm. There's one I'm thinking about, but he should be married. So I So you just said the name. You guys, you're making this hey. over how Oma Please Cynthia. Are waiting for you. Yeah, Liz, you're holding <laughs> up. Liz. <laughs> Hot mm -hmm. plate. Please. Hey, I'll start with my man. Uh huh. I'll go with Arnold, Arnold because, of course, of course. Arnold. Arnold. You see. Of course. Ah, Arnold. Arnold. Why Arnold? Why he has Arnold? speed. He's faster. Eh? <laughs> oh, girls like fast things. Mm -hmm. Ah, no. Ah, uh, Alex. At Rinda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh -huh. Clearly a pirate, and you do not know actually in the closet. I'm not a pirate, but pirates has cute guys. Huh? Uh, please, yeah. please, can we repeat yeah. that? That should be like a national thing. <laughs> can we repeat that? Pirates has cute guys. Karim. Karim of Cobbs, eh? Yeah. Mm. I've understood her type. You would yeah. I've understood should it. I give you more? Yeah. Give me more. Two more. <laughs> Two more. You stopped at three, so... Me, because I was thinking, you know, my size has a problem. I have to think about it. <laughs> you, you, to, you literally have to think of all the problems. Because they can't fit in my brain. Uh, hmm. I mean, to be calm. You yeah. can give us it. Okay, okay let, let's let's be mean, going with Cynthia. Ah, I think uh, there is another call. Cynthia, first continue. Cynthia. <laughs> um... Let me see, let me see. Uh, Jacob Bochen. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That guy is cute, huh? <laughs> 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 Who? Definitely. We can't cut what? It's, you see when someone's good looking, they're good looking. There's little we can do about <laughs> it. That's all you. Um, correct. Go on, William. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Ah, he's ever smiling, man. <laughs> but okay. Regardless, <laughs> oh, people being regardless, we move. Being happy. Uh -huh. regardless, we move. Uh, my brother is cute. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, it doesn't well, count. Ah, uh, well. no, 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 no. no. Uh, 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 no it doesn't count. The, even me, I would have said Wokos is cute. Mm -hmm. Tevi, is tevi cute. Dio. And he's my brother. Okay, okay. the next, the next uh -huh. person. Uh, you even just mentioned Wokos. Wokos, which Wokos? Oh yeah, but there too. Michael. Michael. It's a Philip. And then uh um Ateriga. Nah, we continue. Wow. They've understood something about Kateriga. We've not understood it. So sometimes, when the signal leaves you, when the signal anyway, Miss Leah. You're not going to participate in this part of the game? Um, I want to, but mm. now. Ah. Gambo, we, Arana, come on, come on. To have to edit so are you going to pair me with Chimbo? References. Um, no. Let's see. Yeah, they said Wokarach Michael. But if I give Wokos number one, uh, uh, he'll think I rate him very highly. So no, he's number five. Mm -hmm. um, who else? Karim, number four. Top three. Liam Walker, Mzungu. Top two, top two. Um, top two, let's see, let's see. Which shout out to my boys, Adrian Casito. That one is no Why are you refusing? Like, like, oh, Adrian, bigger. you're not cute. Big cutie. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah, also mm -hmm. brown men, vanang. That's a hard paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brown men are not cute, okay. eh? No, not no, not deep cute. down They're they look like it. Susan. Oh. <laughs> we are at the gardens in Nigeria. <laughs> 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 it is located. 
Jen on the zero one. You can come here for quiz nights. Hey. Ah. So brown men look like Susans. Can we see you will run go? No, there is a way you look like a Cinderella. Why would you be brown uh, if you're brown and not white? Yeah, uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> Only I'm more awake and I, I personally can understand. Can understand Please remember to white. to grab yourself a uh, nail special, right? To unwind and relax. Follow us at Fat Cats Podcast on all our social media platforms. It's very cold. <laughs> On Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and get our content from there. Wow, I think let's go back to talking about what a typical yeah, rugby day is like. Because that's what brought problems. She brought over heartbreak. Yeah, what? So, what is your normal day like, Cynthia? Oh, my normal day is. Uh, um, I have an online shop. I sell perfumes. Oh, so, nice. I'm doing deliveries and here and there. Going back home, cooking my food. And on a Saturday? No, I'm talking about oh, like a rugby Saturday. day. Saturday. As I said, it starts on a Friday. Mm. I have to make sure my power banks are charged, my camera batteries, and even if the game is at four, I'll be at pitch by nine. More so when we we are hosting mm -hmm. Rams, so I'll be at pitch by nine. And make sure everything is in set in regards to the event. Mm. Yeah. Then I'll start working by around uh, midday. Mm. And you run around, drum around like a crazy person. By around 7.30, I'm exhausted. Yeah, that's running around. Yeah, I just want to go It's like right. playing rugby. You can run around. I just it's want crazy. to go home and stay. Miss Leah. You don't, you don't stay behind for the Nigos. Ah, serving Nigos. And this Rams has won. Hey, you only serve Nigos when Rams has won. you. Just find me when Rams has won. Maybe you have Nigos intoxication. Yes. Because you can't be there. Rams is rarely winning. So <laughs> you're there storing Nigos. <laughs> as, if, as if when they bury her, they'll say Cynthia and her. <laughs> I, I admire Rams. Let me tell you. I admire the energy that Rams players have. Rams seems like the underdog that's destined for greatness. Like, even when they don't win this game, you can see that the whole pitch yeah. is for Rams. Like, Gaina! <laughs> like, yeah, we are Rams. We are yeah, Rams. Rams has done amazing. I also want to give them kudos to their PR. You have done amazing. Ever, ever since you signed the condom, mm -hmm. it yeah. seemed like a joke at first. Any other way. But it's a condom. No, it's a condom. It's a, you, you see the owner. You see Cobbs. Cobbs Kajanja. <laughs> you see. I don't know. Don't, don't, don't trap it. Don't trap it. It's, keep it open. Uh -huh. I loved how you, you took that very PR and turned it into something that is... Because we laughed the very first time. Uh -huh. But you maintained it. You let us know that, look here. We have signed with these guys. And, it's, and, and you know, like, to play it safe, you put on protection oh, to the very oh, end. Do you <laughs> Ah, desire, what's your typical rugby Burris, day like? Burris. Um, as a fan, my rugby day used to start yeah Saturday. Come to the pitch around 3 p.m. or maybe I don't know, a few minutes to kick off time. But now that I work with management, my mm -hmm. rugby day actually starts on Friday. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. So Friday because with that technical meeting, yeah. Man. We don't have technical meetings on Friday, but you have to be very sober and awake and well rested for Saturday. You're literally the same as a rugby player. It's very, very exhausting. So yeah, I have to be in bed by like nine, which rarely happens on Friday. But yeah, then Saturday, depending if you're hosting, maybe by 10, I should be at Legends. Yeah. So you have to be away, especially now like Ginger, you have to be at Legends by seven making sure players are on the bus so that by 8, you're sitting you're off. Mm. Now, me who works with box mainly, your game is going to be at 2. So you have to make sure by latest midday, you're in ginger already. And that's really late. So, yeah. That's how it starts. So the box game, that's it box has to play. Um, I'll use an example of last weekend, Saturday. Box had to play. So, yeah, I'll be at the game, for the game, the box game. Then... 
they'll be done and then Cobbs is coming on at four so of course you're going to stay to watch the game then the game will end and then you have to make it back to Kampala and then yeah you can go from there decide to stay out or just go straight home depending on the kind of day you had but yeah typically that's it Liz, you and I are both fans. May I graduate because you know I'm a wag. <laughs> hey. Woohoo, woohoo. Mm-hmm. Just wag. the way they do. Let me tell you. Let me. Yeah. Guys, why am I called senior wag, wag. when they are other wags? Wag. Wag. Can we discuss that? You took me to another uh, level. Another how? Level. How? how? Hey. Explain hey. to me. There are other wags. Do you know that? We have a WhatsApp group. We don't have a WhatsApp group. What do you think we discuss in the WhatsApp group? <laughs> who to invite to the circle? Like who, to <laughs> who meets the standards? Not just anyone. Because Later you're on. To that title or your right? Ah, silly, silly. Like, Later on, we're going to test our rugby knowledge, and I'm we're going to play. The works have ended. Like you're not yet there. You're not yet there. You haven't up there. Uh, you, you, you have some work to do. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there are some works anyway. By the time you're. You're recognized eh? as mm. the senior, senior, senior my dear work, yeah. friend. You've put huh? in the work. That is on your side. <laughs> now, us, let's tell you on our side. <laughs> By the time you survive as a senior, <laughs> 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 I hope Masa Dayam Data to watch this. Because, <laughs> 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 it's crazy. Both Masa Dayam and Data to watch this. Because, hey, it's crazy. But, um, later on, like I said, we're going to have, we're going to test our rugby knowledge. We're going to have a little trivia as well. And before I can ask you what your most memorable rugby moments were, since we're in this zone right now, what is that one thing you would really love to see change about rugby? Just pick one. I'm sure there are many, but what is that one thing you really, really hope would change? I'll give you an example. I hope that in the long run, in the future, rugby can be a sport where the players gain the most financially where they are top priority and they're treated like, you know, the brands that they deserve to be. Because we go to watch because of them. We go to, and again, people might say, oh, it's because you're dating. Yes, it's because I'm dating a player. So I know the 5 a.m.s. I know what it's like when he has training. Man, there are times he trains with national team, then he trains with pirates, then he coaches, and it's just a lot. It would be amazing Mm. if everything, you see how we treat artists? in that art culture, mm. I really hope, for me, the one thing I would love to see change is that the players are actually also, whether well, upcoming, you know, some clubs would be in upcoming category, then some clubs would be Jose Chameleon and whatnot. Yeah. They are, we're talking about pirates. Like, so <laughs> if <laughs> we could, <laughs> next right. time, make sure you have yeah. Luzungu to host a space. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> Desire, what would be the one thing you'd really love to see change in rugby? Well, that's a general. Is uh, should it be strictly technical, like the player side, or also? No, anything? it can be open. That, but 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 for you, the one thing that stands out the most, like what st- stands out for me? Well, um, because we are short staffed a bit at at Combs. Yeah. Um, I've had to manage the ladies as well, Panthers. <clears throat> and watching those ladies' games has given me some insight into ladies' rugby. And wow. Their games are actually fun to watch. Personally, I love to hear them screaming on pitch. You notice the men, it's usually tough talk and what. The girls are always shouting. Because men groan. It's crazy. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, I would hope that with time, the ladies get as much recognition and yeah. as, fi- as much finance as the men do. It would, mm. it would be really nice. Yeah. 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 Liz, from a fan's perspective... It could even be the, the the venues, what you don't like about some of them. Mine was about welfare. and you About welfare, that. yeah. Fans. I'd want for individuals, players, basically, to become brand. Like, mm. like Safe Border. You know. No, it's just an example, because you know we're throwing it out there. Like Safe Border be yeah, yeah. a brand to like Safe Border. Yeah. yeah. I would want that for them, because... You've worked for it, and mm. you're at a point where you can actually talk for something, and we, we go for it. Yeah, I hear you, Cynthia. Um, I'll still stick on uh, player welfare, simply because uh, having a chance to to work with a rugby agency as a projects manager, I initiated the rugby agency medical camp because 
you realize when a player gets an injury, it's crazy. Like, Baba Tiba Chakweta Gakuchisao. Yeah, which is actually what's quite sad. With your bones broken or with your muscles sick, you're useless. And the game has to go on. And the game has to go on. So when he goes on the side, he or she goes on the side, they they tend to go through trauma. Yeah. They tend to go through a lot mm. because uh, most of the players uh, take rugby as, I call it a job. Mm. They are yeah. living through that. Mm. So when it's down, a lot of things are going to happen to that player. Mm. Um, financially, he or she will be strained. Yeah. So looking into player welfare on the side of uh, uh, health, mm. it should, I wish it would be taken as priority. Or I wish clubs would have insurance, <coughs> something like that. Because really, those play even the return to play process eh, is kind of hectic. Yeah, therapy and so much, yeah. Because mm. they take it that when you get the injury coming back, eh, you're like you're rusted. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, so over it really you. gives them trauma, and they they need that attention with which they are not getting. We need to add on mental health as well yeah, because it's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. I've seen a player who coming back was not easy. one plus one. It's never easy. Wow, that's interesting. How about we test our rugby knowledge? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to give out a couple of goodies. Uh, you know my goodies. Are we doing a trial run before we do that? Okay, we can do a trial run. We do a trial run? Mm -hmm. What are Massa's four full names? Let me try. Uh huh. Mm, Chitio. Chitio. Masa yes. Nganzira. Mm hmm. Uh, what's your his name? Isaac. I don't know. You uh, it's a try run. There's one more name missing. <laughs> yeah. Ah. No, Cynthia. Really. Mm hmm. Chitio. <coughs> Masa Nganzira. Isaac. Ah, Cynthia, I'm yeah. concerned. You want to join the work list? When we meet, we say, "We no call our exam, our exam." Do you remember we are at the gardens in Nigeria? Very beautiful place. You wanna catch up on soccer, rugby? Come here for everything you need. Follow us with the Fat Cats Podcast to get updates. We have a space every Monday, starting at starting at 8 p.m. So make sure you are there. So, guys, here's what we're gonna do. I have questions and there was no gift, but me as me, yeah, I'm going to give you one. a gift. Dinner for two at, uh, where do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Let me take you to Fairway Hotel, dinner ah, for two. If you pass, if you pass, ah, you, you can take yourselves, you can take me for ah, dinner. But I have to encourage you to get into the work circle. <laughs> <laughs> So the person who passes the most, so it's first first person to answer, right? Mm -hmm. First person to answer gets it for the questions. Okay, let's go. In 15's rugby, hmm? wow. what position is designated for shirt number 16? Number 16. Yeah, what position is that? That's a sub. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Cynthia? Speaking out loud. Center? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, let me just say meow. Uh, Problems are here. Num number one. one. No, it's a hooker, which is the substitute for shot number two. Number two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice try. You're better than the girls who say a try is a goal. So let's... Uh, <clears throat> and they call themselves... Wagner. Which team finished second in the 2023 Nile Special Premiership? Which team finished second? Cubs. Even Cobbs is surprised. <laughs> wow, no, you your turn. Twenty twenty three. Yes. <laughs> now special premiership. Liz. I think it's one of the three. Liz. Liz, this should be easy because clearly they failed to. Mm -hmm. So which team? Answer. So we keep saying random things until the And it's heathens. Let's not yeah. argue. Let's these are small matters. This is why you're going to stay single. Dinner. Why are you assuming I'm single? Let's okay, see. okay, okay. Let's go. Who is the captain of the Uganda Sevens Women's National Team? The Sevens. Peace Lekou. Peace Lekou, you got it first. Uh, so you have one. Uh, Leah, Leah, uh -huh. you have zero. 
Lea Lea from Cobbs. You have zero. Lea Lea. TM. TM. Okay. Also, Liz, confused fan. <laughs> you have zero. Just so we are updated. When a player gets a yellow card in 15s, how long is the scene been? 10 minutes. And you see, you had got never. This is how she approaches her men. Cynthia, <laughs> you have two. Uh, Liz, confused fan zero. They said it at the same time. No, no, no. She, she, she was not sure. So she said she like, down I'm those ends. Yeah. Oh. And finally, what team does Philip Wokorach play for? You can Even. say it. <laughs> In Uganda, national team. But then Zja, one. But then Zja. Cadets, the date, the date is disturbing you. I've seen, I've seen. Desire, I'm giving you a date. Go, just go. You can leave the course. Ah, she just like who does she want to take? Because the girl just. When did the man last play for heathens? Anyway, in France. Uh -huh. I can't pronounce the word. No, say it in the, the abbreviation. Mm -hmm. I can't pronounce it. Okay, no, no, even me can say it. ASBC. Rugby. By the way, let me say it. What will happen? Since it. you also don't know. Let's hear it. Aveno, uh -huh. Sportif, uh -huh. Dibadre, Chotuno, Dupape, Vaclo, Rugby. Alimba. And let's send that to Philip and find out. Alimba. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so here is a chance for you, Liz, for you to go away from embarrassment. Yeah. in a half. two. <laughs> I want you to know yeah, as yeah. Madame Safe Border, <laughs> you're not riding very quickly. <laughs> ah, what is the Rams Club team song when they're walking into the beach? Am I allowed to answer? No, no, clearly. <laughs> we are saving Liz. I Even if I pass it on to Desire, she didn't know it. Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just go for dinner. What's the Rams Club I song? Like, what's the Rams song, though? But here is where we'll find the shocker. Guys, she's <laughs> laughing, but she doesn't know it. Uh -huh. Wow. You know, I, you know what? Let me first shock you before we go any further. Mm -hmm. Do they have? Do you know that? I was about to whisper. I was about to sing. You could have gone first time. Same thing I was thinking, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So what's the answer? Uh -uh. That Bobby Wine song. Uh -huh. I'm forgetting the title. Wow, wow, no, 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 let's move on, let's move on. Let's try things of the pen. So you have a chance. No, 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 guys, we're not doing that. It's Badman from Kamocha. I don't know how to feel because I know that as a fan of Iwi. I never guess. No, I was just not certain of the, of the. So there are pens in front of you. The Here is Redemption Time. You know, for Bob Mali, Pirates. Here is Redemption. Just use your pen. Your pen is here, Liz. If writing fails, life has failed. So this part is a trivia, quite, quite easy. You have to write it as fast as you can. We're going to post these results on social media for the men who are attracted to you <laughs> to understand it's a lost project. Let's be guided. In what country did the first Starbucks open outside North America? My is not let me help you. Even me, I didn't know the answer. I'm here because Ruben gave me the answer. Because otherwise, life had failed on that one. No, we are practicing. So tonight, every Tuesday at the gardens, there is quiz night. Yeah, so it's a good thing to get you in the mood. This is where you find men, quiz nights, words, when you have knowledge. So you've answered number one. I don't think you remember. Yes, in what country did the first Starbucks open outside America? I wasn't even being funny. You don't know the answer? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can see that she has gotten Bruno to help her. Uh, You've written the answer? A gentleman. Do you have the answer? We go on to number two. In a website browser, you normally type www, right? Mm -hmm. What does www stand for? <laughs> www. Don't overwrite many words because the words are few. That first question, please repeat it. Uh, even if I sing it, <laughs> let me sing it. <laughs> hey, okay. Please, In what me? country uh -huh. did the first <laughs> Starbucks open outside of North America? <laughs> say no more. You, you say no more? Ah, <laughs> know. <laughs> but as we are in this, I, I need to ask, you know, where do you guys roar? 
But let's move. I'm ready. No, okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's have poetry. Poetry, gun. Okay, okay, so guys, number three. Who painted the Mona Lisa? No. It's very, no, that one is common knowledge. Even me, I knew it. I'm the yardstick for the Mona Lisa. Don't you give for like options? You know how you give A, B, C, A, B, C, and then you circle. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Who painted the Mona Lisa? A. Mm -hmm. Dimitri Vasquez. Mm -hmm. B. Leonardo da Vinci. C. Mario da Vinci. Liz, <laughs> Liz, I'm concerned. Self border, our parents' management. Let's look into future coupling. Kubanga, <laughs> it won't happen. Let's give us also uh, options for number one. Number one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number one, in what country did the first Starbucks open? Mm -hmm. Outside North America. A, Japan. Two, Indonesia. Uh, what? B, A, B, A, A, B, C. C, New York. And number two? But you see this thing of babes liking options. It means your players. <laughs> Like <laughs> yeah, because I don't understand why you can't just have the answer. We used to pass objectives. You so the men taught us well. The men taught you well. Rugby men or all men? Ah, I just said the men. Okay, Option for two. Ah, net dog. you failed in life. No, no. <laughs> ah, w, 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 What have you said? <laughs> what would we do? Yes, clearly not job hunting. Number four. <laughs> What is the role? <laughs> Ruben, when I'm Ruben was evil. What is the original purpose of the tiny pocket in jeans? I give options. Eh? You want to give options. Okay. What is the original purpose of the tiny pockets in jeans? A, to store money. B, to store coins. C, to store pocket watches. A, to store money, store coins, pocket watches. You're thinking? We can go to the next time. We can go to the next Five. time. Okay, so, Twinkie, Twinkie, Lala, Po. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you know, we are Ruben, by the way. This is a, okay, okay, okay. International schools, let's be guided. Okay, okay, let me switch, let me switch, let me switch. Let me switch the last question. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a Ugandan question. Should I ask you in entertainment or sports? Rugby. If it's <laughs> sports, rugby. If it's entertain, if entertainment, can be general. I ask you in rugby. Entertainment. Entertainment. <laughs> okay, let me ask you in entertainment. What are Zawi's real names? Pardon? Are Zawi's real names? Eh, do we mark now? We mark later because I'm curious about some things. Tinky oh, winky, yeah. Yabale says that. <laughs> 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 okay, let's no, we are done. We are done. Oh, okay. So we need to find out who is gonna go for for, <laughs> for the dinner. <laughs> Cynthia, you stand. You had two points from the other side. Uh, uh, Miss Leah, half. Leah, you had half. How do you get half? Nancy, she said heathens. That's trying. That's tr you. What have you done with your life? You know. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, New York is wrong. You can be marking yourselves in the process. So what's the right one? Japan. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> World Wide Web is correct. What a shock. Leonardo da Vinci. Stop adding. What a shock. Don't, Don't add, please. No, get get a marker. Why get a marker. I only have one thing. The pocket uh, to That's store okay. coins. Three, that right was one. what? Leonardo da Vinci. Hey, hey. The small pocket in jeans mm -hmm. is to store coins. That was option B, right? No, you write the thing. Yeah, I write just, B. Just, store just, a okay, store a coin. To store a coin. Did you write to store a coin? Yeah. No, I changed. The what did you write? I was watches. Yeah, yeah you, you're watches. correct. Cause coins is wrong. Okay. It's to store our watches. Clown. Ah. Uh, so yeah, ago. because I I know you're a cheat. As <laughs> <laughs> you saw you saw she was just saying B B B B B. <laughs> what was in B? Uh, uh, as always, real name. 
Wait, first mark yourself wrong. As we are. What, what did you put? Zawed. Zawed. And you? Wrong. The half, we already gave half in the other one of questions. Yeah, but here, yeah, no, no, no. Don't you have time got done? <laughs> it was the other side. Okay, you have one. Angela is a wedding. Eh, hey, she's Angela. Angela. Wow. So we, we uh, have one. Oh, we have failed. No, but you're the one who has dinner. <laughs> the other people should try getting men who are financially stable in their lives. Sure. Ladies, it's been fantastic having you here on the Fat Cats yeah. podcast. Are we done? Hey, it seems like a short time, eh? Let me first look at producer. We don't want to be done, producer. We continue, eh? Yeah, let's go. Ah, 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 ah. As we want to continue, we want, we want to talk about our men. <laughs> you love it. She has nothing. I don't know why this chick loves me. No, that is the way they love. I don't even understand. The way they have. Liz, you give me goes. You give me goes. No. Why? So you have. Well, we are important matters here. You already failed. You're not going for dinner. <laughs> no, uh, uh, when the brain has failed. When, <laughs> okay, leave Adrian alone. No, you had nothing the other side. Oh my, she was telling us why she doesn't give new goals. She was telling us why what? She doesn't give new goals. Don't you, give you also said you don't give Nigos. Why do you know? She says she gives when Rams wins. Yes, I said I How give. often does Ram Ram win? It does. Win? I said how often. When does Ram win? Like how often? It does. You see when, by the way, when does Rams win? Once a league. Since like when? Once, that, once one game day. In hey, league. Mama, don't try me. Please. When uh, okay. in in Nigos? Twenty twenty three in Uganda Cup. Okay, okay, yeah, there you go. It. Me, when we are in twenty twenty four. Eh? Maybe Wait, she means much. like these other small, small games also. Mm -hmm. Eagles is for every weekend. Desire, no, 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 you first no, no, no. of all, <laughs> you have your title holder for the meanest Eagles giver. So I don't even know why you're in this game. Oh my God. Do you give Eagles desire? Yeah, do you to give who? Desire, bro. To people. Who? But but no, also people. Nigos in Diraz, eh? It was? <laughs> it depends. Desire had me. <laughs> Diraz. You guys, you have to turn down on that. Okay. What, what does that mean? Dira, you see these laws. <laughs> yeah. The okay, these no, are, can we talk about this? Housewives. <laughs> you know TM can come put yes. on a Dira. Release, release my Dira. Put it on a Dira. Release my Dira. But I see her with her random tops of yeah. big boobs, boob master, <laughs> touch my boobs. Mira, there's this in here. Just see the shirt. There's that shirt she has which has nipples. In the seven. Mm. The first like three. The games, hippos fans would know. She comes She's putting on Diraz. Then yeah, the rest yeah, of the games after that. Who do you wear Diraz? <laughs> she will put on. No, uh, we're trying to ask Desire why she's <laughs> asking me why I wear Diraz. It's you who comes in the Diraz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Desire, what is it? You're yeah, making yeah, our path secret, for yeah, finding yeah, a man no, so hard. I shall leave it at that. I shall leave it at that. No, Desire, don't talk us on the Zoom. Let's in the heat on game day. Let's first start. And you're in a Diraz? Yeah. That's ironic if it's hot. No, because you know you do not know if there's anything inside there. That's the thing. But that's where I'm going to store. Do you know? No, yeah. no, 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 we are sorry. No. We are sorry. <laughs> Let me tell well, you maybe she's yeah. aerating. Is that nice. person Diraz when she's being TM? After her game is done. That's not hey. true. I've, I've seen her give niggas. I think I think that is when she gives niggas. Yeah, because she gives niggas. Yeah, she likes being like sophisticated. But do you feel as a woman you have to do that? You have to like be different to. To gain the attention and the respect and whatnot. Yes and no. Let's start with the yes. <laughs> yes, because uh, even for yourself, there are days you're like, today I want to look really good. And like, the deer I won't cut it. So let me switch it up and do something else. No, because I don't know. I grew up around boys. Like, it's never that deep. I'm going to wear my shirts, my cutting, my crocs. You have a problem with it. Yeah, but sometimes watch. the pressure is there to the wear pressure. some lipstick. What? External pressure? Comb your hair. No. And that's why I said yes mm. and no. Like, oh. there are days when it's never that deep. Like, if you want me, you want me. Because 
when I say yes to you, eventually you're going to see me without the lipstick. You're going to see me with my uncombed. No, 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 no. It doesn't have to tell be us, like that. Us, you can go and have well. permanent lips and permanent eyebrows. You guys. <laughs> Yeah, the everything has to be said, my friend. Early morning is a trick. <laughs> hey, so, Madame Dira, does she wear like shorts? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but she even. You, you remember those days when you used to wear pen eye? And then no She fundikira. She can't go fundikira. Guys, that's not true. But she said there's nothing inside the Dira. The that makes the Dira come up as if uh, but otherwise otherwise there's yeah. nothing inside no i, I have other like like opinions uh, just, just the so cynthia now we are on to you uh, as an admin do you think that uh, as, a, as a as a female in the sport sometimes you have to do certain things to get the respect because sometimes it doesn't come naturally i believe respect is uh, non demanded mm. it is earned yeah, uh, because the way you take yourself sometimes also counts. Of course, when you take yourself in that line of uh, disrespect and the way you package yourself is the way the public will receive you. But you know, sometimes rugby people, why not come and you do that? They cross lines. They think, oh, that's Masa's girlfriend. I can just go and throw my head at her. Oh. I know someone. Eh? No. Mad backhand slap. You know that? Backhand. Hey, some people Hand deserve off. backhand slap. Yeah, they, no, it's not. Uh, I think they deserve handoffs. <laughs> and uh, people think, by the way, people think eh, when you're in the rugby circles, eh, mm. you're just there. Fwa, fwa. Or you're like them because they tend. Because now, when we come to uh, Chadondo, do you know that people come in every Saturday and they do not know about rugby, but they know. Chadondo Saturday was a suro mutual. And then a jacuja, he, he or she pays the 10k. I I tell Paka Kulaini Apo. Newebe comedy watch. So they really don't know what happens. Yeah. Some some of us are in rugby circles for work. So go against the kukola. But then uh, some people think you're just, uh, uh, well, you're just like yeah. them. Eh? Like you're there to past time eh? but remember you go i, I always uh, respect my saturday by the way mm. because it is on plan it is like scheduled so after my work we cut ties so omuntu akula ba rugby circles na gamba yet you know why would why would she look like this why is she putting on? People judge, eh? yeah. but regardless, we have to move and uh, how do the Baganda say? You just have to do your thing. Do your thing. And uh, if that is the way you're trying to package yourself, be that. Meanwhile, I think everyone, every girl that is on purpose in the rugby circles mm. have to, has to have uh, high self-esteem. Yeah, you do. Put I your head high. And I, Move. I, I, I don't think it's just rugby circles because I am a female leader in the media industry. I am a female leader at work. I am a boss chick. But the one thing I've learned is boundaries. There are people who can wake up and decide Le Rossi in a Kogan and Neposha. It's kawa. I know. You're not feeding me. And one of the things I want to let women out there know, you don't have to sexualize yourself every day to get the time and attention. There are days you want to be sexy. You want to put on a sexy dress, put on heels. There are days people see you and they're like, man, I'm going to chichi. But they don't know that you go through your processes. They don't know sexiness. They don't know as a female out there, you do not need validation from other people to feel important about yourself. We tend to, to weigh and say, you know, maybe that's a thing for men and this is for women. That's not true. We go through the same thing. Some people are single parents. Some people are going through hardships in relationships. Sometimes work can jam. And you know, same things that the men go through. Bills, rent, family, and whatnot. So if you're female out there, you do not need validation from other people. Just hold your head up. I mean, I suffer with stereotypes because 
people think they know me they think for me they think with me they think my relationship they think my work they think my finances and i find it amazing but you see what gets me going in rugby is i know that there are people who need me they need my time they need my service and part of what i do is good for them and they benefit from it so as a female i don't sit there and wonder Oh, but does Ruben like me? Oh, why is Ruben going to talk to me this week? If Ruben does not talk to me, that's on Ruben. That's on Ruben. It cannot be on me. I wanted to know from you as uh, as a fan, Liz, one of the things that normally bogs down rugby and breaks our family tie is gossip. We can gossip. To sell our words. Rugby has the biggest I'm chefs curious, in the though. in the I want to know people's thought processes. Like you know there are days you actually sit down with someone and tell them the truth. You're like, you know what? I am madly in love with Kosha. But because it's hotter gossip when they say desire is in love with Cynthia. That's what they're going to. But I've assured you that I'm in love with Kosha. Say, Why are you still telling them? Use examples I'm in love with, with the men. Oh, you're not doing me some market. Eh? Use examples with ah. the men in it. Kosha, <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> this is fear is putting okay. male in. Nah, it's, it's, I'm all good. Good. I could be closeted. Gayal don't know. So really. Mm-hmm. Closet yourself with Cynthia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 ah. So Liz, I was asking you as a fan, because you know fans. Fans have the biggest uh, space for gossip, and here's why. Fans are not in administration. Yeah, yeah. Fans do not understand what players go and through. clubs go through. And clubs cannot go around putting their dirty linen and saying, Hi, we are pirates. We are struggling. We are crumbling. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah. no money. We have no players. Have no the sponsor. player has written, we have no sponsor. The sponsor has not paid. Oh, Gundi is pregnant. Banangi. Clubs can't do that. So fans normally, from your perspective, you will abuse the union, you will abuse the club, you will abuse the players. You will talk about, have you seen Desire talking to him? Mm-hmm. They must be <laughs> As what, what is your take on gossip, first of all, like generally? Have you been gossiped about? Maybe <laughs> to Janikao. <laughs> Basale Lost word. for what? <laughs> that I can say. Yeah, I've been gossiped about. Mm. I had things I don't even know about. But one thing I usually do, or I don't know, my personality, I don't really want to engage more with other fans. Like... You end up in groups you actually do not know, or you yeah. end up doing things you don't even want to know. Mm. So I'm usually in your world, in your space. I should say. After games, first of all, I do not drink. You won't see me drinking. Two, yeah. We are judging. I'm drinking for her. You judge me. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking for her. Uh-huh. Two, I don't do new girls. So, you goes, you know, we have to no, discuss new like You have to do new goes. Mm. I even get bored. And I want to go home. Me, if I had a chance to do new goes, hey. Sure. You mean you don't have uh, 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 Guys, we're not discussing people's personal lives on the board. <laughs> Ah. Sometimes I like try to do jingles with my friends. Then they say, "Waga, well, but to go back to Kings but Park, yeah. Yeah. you get it." Eh? Yeah, I life. feel so offended. You people hurt me when. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know when it comes to the what fans. What if the eh? ones fight for you? <laughs> and we don't know. <laughs> they have that uh, that whenever they see you and you're in touch with most of the players. Mm. Maybe you're so social because um, some of us are social. And then they'll start. But also, Cynthia, if you're giving us an adult, whose business is it? Hmm? No, it is my personal business, yes. Mm. But then, like I said, it is my thing I am using for the sex, yeah? My <laughs> meow. Hey, is there a PG in the podcast? Why? <laughs> Why are you in the you sky? Guys, I want to shout out to our mouth. producers, Joel, Bruno, and Ruben. Bruno's eyes <laughs> opened. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> you know they are big. No. So they... <laughs> Ah. Very valid. Like yes. You said very valid because why are you pointing at people with your mouth and making all these weird facial expressions? You should not be pressed by what people do when they are alone. It is when they're adults. If I've decided I want to sleep with the entire team, it is my that I am using. It can be your goal, your mission. Like, yes. If you cannot do it, that's on you. That's your business. But if I've decided to sleep with my entire team, please do not be pressed on my behalf. Allow me to be a whole in peace. Don't be pressed. Or oh, oh, bring your, your yeah, thing. I mean, maybe some other day. Because time looks not We have time. Day. Time is on our side. <laughs> you, time is on Did our side. Know, the, the producers the, the, have allowed. What the Lugambo players do? Mm. Hey, hey. Hey. Players have Lugambo. Eh? Jesus. Another set we are going to mix. Hey. Mm. Mm. But why do players have Lugambo? <laughs> It is worse. <laughs> it's worse than the fans. I've even sipped an ailo. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing I like. Mm. Mm. That's why you've tied on Arnold. That's why, like, if someone talks, I'll be mm. like, okay. Because mm. it's not scattered. Yeah, tomorrow you wake up and give me the other one, the other one, the other one. Yeah. Even if you're not a hoe. Mm. But you know, one, one of the things we need to talk about is how we feel about being called whores. Especially when you're not a whore. But let me tell you, even if you're a whore, you understand. But there is something that gossip does to women just because I'm talking to five people or I'm the TM or I'm in charge. Then you just say, oh, oh, yeah, governor. There's something you kill in a woman. Because then it's not true. Then she has to be weird then and then there's let me just talk about the one thing i do not like in rugby gossip that kind of thing of let's say we're at chadondo and then Porsche is coming in then there's that awkwardness of like we are ja, we are. Even that we are ja. they've not yet pointed at you with their mouth <laughs> me they can't me they can't but do you know what i what i've learned uh, the oh, time i've spent in the rugby circles eh? mm. is uh in case you're doing a thing and you're not mm. being criticized. I feel like I'm doing nothing. You're not doing it well. Mm. Like, I have yeah. to make sure you criticize. Because by the time you're criticizing, you're, you're noticing. Yeah. You're observing. And uh, maybe because I'm a journalist, there's no bad PR. All PR is good PR. Yeah. Crazy. There's no bad PR. Whatever gossip you're pushing me in over who, over what, I am okay. It's working for you. It is working. Just push. But let me tell you something, ladies. One thing that has also helped me is I'm very confrontational. Everyone knows that. Really? Mm -hmm. Very. You don't know. I'm very. If you talk about me, I will. How was I? Do you understand? You understand? So <laughs> it actually helps you when you confront yeah these per se people whether at work whether at work whether anywhere because people yeah people can have there's just having a perception of you but you're not talking about it yeah. there's they're just hating me you hate me and we you're there in your chikona it's okay but then you, you go to, and you're yeah. spreading propaganda and i remember there's a time someone said i blacked out at angenois i've never been to angenois to you understand like, I understand I'm a popular person and whatnot, but first tell me, what was I wearing? Mm -hmm. what, how, how, what was my hair like? And a lot of times, when you call people to book and demand accountability, mm -hmm. it actually helps. Yeah. Because there's so much good we can do in rugby together. There's so much. Look at what we're doing with Balam. Look at what we did for Chisano. Look at what we did for Jude. There's so much we can do, and people are struggling. Mm -hmm. My hope is that in the future, we can have a CR... CSR department mm. in rugby that is dedicated to that, that is dedicated to looking for scholarships, for sponsorships, and for helping people. How do we partner with all these people to actually, because people are struggling. You're using I know. It's a good question. I personally. Confrontational is not my thing. It's it's when I feel like you really cross the Reach line. the limit, yeah. Yeah, because for me, how many people will you confront? You see, mm. I keep telling people, when you roll in the mud with a pig, while it's enjoying that mud, you are getting dirty. 
So if today so and so speaks ill about me, then I confront him. Then tomorrow the other, and then the other one. Before I know it, I'm going to be looking dirty. The beauty is so pigs. You, the pigs reduce. No, 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 no. For me, you are a pig, and we'll keep it at that. You be a pig. I'm going to be a human being, yeah. a painting. So carry on with your rubbish. A painting. You're a painting. This is a well of a painting. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've hey. taken your time to go to around actually, telling lies about clearly. I am peng. I mean, mm-hmm. if I was not, you'd not be talking about me. Even when you peng ting wakobs, peng peng. Yes, I'd advise that we use that energy, like she said. I think so. Yeah. Into into doing constructive stuff. Imagine Good. you use that energy, your big mouth, to look for sponsorship for your club. Do you have and examples of big mouths in rugby that football. we need to redirect? Nah, like shouting them out would be giving them too much time. Uh, eh? Yeah, too Attention. much time. Like I said, you're a pig, you'll stay at that. Uh, personally, use, I, I'd encourage you to use your big mouth to look for sponsorship for your club, to look for money so that we can fund Balam's uh, campaign. He has yes, a I agree. Up soon. Open your mouth and jazz. Let's get that remaining money and put him to surgery. As simple as that. Ladies, it's been fantastic having you Thank on you the Fat Cats you. podcast. Yeah, this is the Meow edition. They're going to roll the entire. You know, most of the men on Fadcast, too much testosterone. It's just they are built up. Yeah? <laughs> Those bugais, they can't relax. Everything is so All them bugais. Yeah, they are bugais, okay. all of them. So one That's of them so pays me. Right. Caesar is the hottest fat cat I know. He's so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> hey. The others can go to hell. But <laughs> uh, uh, now, uh, or just a little bit. So. In my list of cute men, mm-hmm. you need to understand, but cute yeah, men I mean. and yes, <laughs> being cute and attending to my needs, has Bruno ever given me money? Mm-hmm. I dare Bruno to give me money today as we are here uh, because Bruno has yeah. never given, yeah. even a land title, nothing. Land title. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, you can hear, you can hear the things he says. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. But shout out to you, lady. Shout out to Nile Special so much for being our partner in this journey of Fat Cats Podcast. And of course, the Gardens, Nigeria. And as we sign out, I want to know what your, what your final thoughts are from everything we've talked about. For you, what do you want the rugby community to, to, to know? It could be the gossip. It could be the change, it could be the improvement, it could be your best rugby memory and how you want us to, you know, expound on that. What do you want your listeners to know? You see, if you had a boyfriend, he would take you to the hospital. (laughs) But uh, (laughs) Cynthia... You're studying with me? But I have some fat cards. That are available. That would be... I don't know, we're innocent. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah finished. One, one. It's one, finished. One. I, I'm sorry for manipulating you as a senior leader. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, No, my Bruno is my only fat cat problem. But yes, Cynthia, let me start with you. Um, thank you for thank you, Portia, for having us. It has been a great evening with a cold Nilo, of course, soothing down the throat. Hi, Joel. Ah! Bambi fat cats. Oh, wait. <laughs> this, is the, this is the problem. You can be the main sponsor. Nengo Mutarawa sub sponsor. Sub sponsor. Wow. Hi, Joel. but okay. To the rugby fraternity, yeah, we can make this place a better place. We can make rugby a better place because I believe uh, we are family and we have always been and we shall always be. To the women in rugby, mm. the energy we use for gossiping kids, even men, we can, even, we can, can. even the men, right? Even men. No, 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 no. To the ladies, because uh, ladies are known for gossiping. That is what people think. But the men uh, are overtaking them. I realize they are... It's a competition. <laughs> oh, my Cynthia, these are, are your parting shots. Yeah. 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 First of all, they didn't even this win dinner. Take. That's true. Yeah. I think this is... Uh, I don't think it would be an understatement, but uh, we are very few productive women in rugby. Otio. Mm. Yes, mm. we are few. We are. 
someone catching a stray, <laughs> but okay. We are. But She's talking I about bet. Lisa and I. You see, we're I just bet. fans. The fewest that we are, we work on uh, attracting yeah. more reproductive yeah. females in the rugby circles because I believe we can uh, change. Yes. Nice. Attract change. Mm -hmm. Then uh, to still to the rugby fans, fraternity, sports fraternity, we have four miles to go. Mm. Four point something miles to go. I believe we can hit it. Oh, for Balam. Yeah, for Balam. Oh, okay. Stronger for Balam. I believe we can hit it. Uh, Balam is going to be admitted on 9th. Mm. That is uh, Friday. Yeah, yeah next Friday. week. Yeah. It's going to be admitted and surgery will be taking place on 12th of uh, this very month. To my Rams family, I love you guys so much. You have... It is because of you that I have come this far, and I believe I'm still going miles. I love you. But I don't like the word iwi. Uh, desire. It yeah. just confuses me, the iwi. <laughs> <laughs> desire. <laughs> desire. <laughs> desire. <laughs> what, what would your parting shots be? <clears throat> My parting shots? Um, <clears throat> First and foremost, thank you so much for hosting us. Don't cool. kneel, don't kneel. This is fat cats. The only don't fat kneel. cats with the cats. <laughs> that line kills me, by yeah. the way. Anyway, uh, let me yeah. beautiful doing this with you. Yeah. Um, my parting shots to the management, I'd start with maybe the union. Mm. Well, thanks for giving us the platform to work with you guys, for allowing the players space to work with you people. And, and I hope as time goes by, no, I'll leave that parting shot out of this. Anyway, then my club, Cobbs, uh, I love that family. It's given me an opportunity to serve and to grow with them. The people I've met there have bettered me on my journey in rugby and in my personal life. They've impacted yeah. me greatly, so I thank you so much for that. Um, to the ladies in rugby, the few I have met, uh, worked with, or just interacted with, uh, like she said, there's a few productive women in rugby. It's It's been beautiful. Mention some. Guys. Mention some. Miss Anne Sizomo. <laughs> Miss Patience Anne Aloyo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been uh, beautiful working with you guys. Um, but also as encouragement to the ladies in rugby. Yeah. You work around so many men. Mm. And you know respect is for earning, not for giving. But um, keep your head up. Some days are going to be tough. There are people that are going to talk you down. There's people that are going to, the sexual assault part of it, that's a whole other story. But keep your head up. You, you have a whole circle around you. There's people that are ready to hold your hand and walk this journey with you. And I hope going forward, we're just, we support each other and not pull each yeah. other down instead. Yeah, that should be it. Mm. And to the fans, thank you so much for always coming out. And what about to fat cats? I'm fat giving cats, you an opportunity an to exercise your English. And mm. yeah, maybe I'll just, this is going to be a public call, guys, please. Balam has his surgery on 9th. Let's all come to send those monies she's receiving. Please, do the, the needful. Liz, your parting shots. As a fan, failed to be wag. She's, she's going to upgrade soon. <laughs> First of all, thank you, Fat Cats, for... You have to say meow when it's our edition. So the guys just say Fat Cats. Huh? I should have to say meow. The meow edition. Meow. Meow edition. <laughs> I have that one. <laughs> Try saying it, meow. <laughs> you can't say meow. <laughs> she can't say meow. This is say meow. I meowed like 30 times already. Meow. She didn't hear that. <laughs> meow. We <laughs> didn't hear what I said. Mm -hmm. uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast has been hectic. Please. Uh, thank you for hosting us. Uh, well, we were picked among the many, so thank you. You're powerful women. We chose you because you're powerful women in your clubs and your sport, and we admire what you do. Aww. Your TMs, your powerful fans, your influencers of the sport. So it wasn't by accident. If we were looking for wags, you wouldn't be here. Eh. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. 
Mm-hmm. But you can continue with your. Mm-hmm. But by the way, yeah, Mwanta. By the way, the works uh, podcast. Uh, they feared. They feared. No. They feared. We are requesting underdogs. We want wags, not underdogs. You know, if you date a fat cat, you can be a wag. Really? It counts. Uh, yeah. What, it what counts. rugby do fat cats play? Have you seen those tummies? Okay, the guys. Space. Uh. I'm just asking. <laughs> uh, but continue, please. <laughs> I hope you're not attacking my Bruno because Bruno is taken. Bruno is taken. Bruno Bruno is taken. Bruno with that six pack. As long as we have no we do not care. That's how you feel about the men also in the yes. You want to steal the men. You see a joke day or a joke day. Get married, but without a ring, there is opportunity. That's why I was telling you guys, you need to consult us the words. Kuwanga be a Twitter movie, but Ugamba without a ring, open market. Yes, which brings me to my last question. First, let the girl say her parting shirt. There's no work that's married. So works is wi- wives and girlfriends, just dear. Girlfriends and girlfriends, really. And wives and, and side chicks and supporting. What are you saying about us, the unmarried ones? Yeah, the and at least we are better than you. We have men. Yeah. Mm. Nothing. Mm. We are sharing mm. out here. Like, we are sharing. Sharing. <laughs> 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 and on boys, are we still on the board? No, 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 we are done. We're okay, done. fine. Liz, uh, Liz, say because there are some things in my chest. <laughs> As a post-COVID fan. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yeah, there's that. But first say, then we talk about that. Uh, I want to thank rugby. I don't know. I found rugby during COVID. Of some space, I don't know. So, yes, that's how I continued. Okay, I knew about rugby from school, and the guys from school that were playing. But me physically coming was after COVID. Mm. Yeah. Uh, thank you for making my weekends good ones. Memorable. I was bored. Mm. And I want to thank the players. I don't know. For whatever yes. they go through what that we don't want to know, that we do not know. May God bless you guys. Amen. You actually Amen. make us, uh, even when we abuse them, the next week. Very sure. We are appreciating yeah. them. And yeah. On behalf of Fat Cats, we'd like to thank you, ladies. We appreciate you very much in the fields that you do. If you notice, we have a fan, we have an admin, we have a TM, we have a journalist in you as well, Cynthia. So you are wisely selected. We appreciate your effort as women towards the sport. It's not often sung. I mean, at the last games, we had that girl from, was it Nile Rapids? What's her name, Akelo? Yeah, yeah, Do you understand that she has been in Nile Rapids and we didn't know she existed yeah, know. Yeah. and she just blew out? There are so many exceptional women in rugby and I want to salute a couple of them who have done amazing work over the years. Dorothy Nekesa, uh, everyone calls her Dot. She has served her time. I mean, heck, yeah. Denise has served her time as well. There are women who have done amazing in rugby and they need to be recognized and appreciated all the female teams i mean you are fighting for time and attention that is more directed somewhere else but you're there and you're surviving and to you the ladies in the background we really appreciate you the female fans the female journalists the female tms and whatnot because every female team has a female team Every a couple, some people even double in the mail. So shout out to you for what you're doing. And uh, as Fat Cats, we really appreciate you. We hope you can make some more time to come to the gardens in Nigeria. Take a nap whenever you need to unwind and relax. It is time now to talk about. There is nothing that irritates me like calling people COVID fans. COVID fans. Why do people get keep rugby? Yeah. It's so rude. Why do they do that? Doesn't it annoy you? Apparently, we don't know anything about rugby. We are just making noise. But yo, the entitlement in rugby. It gets cheap. Do you understand? So, yeah. mm-hmm. so many people feel like they've done so much for rugby, but they've never even been on the pitch. Even those that went on the pitch were shit. Do you understand? You were there just because. So people think, oh, I put on a jersey, okay. I played for a club. That <laughs> means I contributed a pivotal part to rugby. But that's a lie. 
Yeah, you were probably the backbencher in rugby. Wow. <laughs> Just because you were there doesn't mean no that that, that COVID thing annoys me. Because you see, from a branding perspective, which is what I'm passionate about, more numbers is good. So what are we doing as rugby to teach them the basics of rugby? Do we have mini videos to explain what a try is and what not? Yes, Cynthia. Um, to the journalists, to the photographers shooting rugby, you guys are doing an amazing job. I am appreciating you. Rugby agency, fat cards, all the guys that are in the media line. No, 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 yeah. It's because rugby is growing. I'm part of the media, so I must yeah, I must yeah. applaud Nile Special yeah, so very much. Yeah, so photographers are doing a good job. Eh? Yeah. yeah. There are people, um, Philip, I mean, they're tra the traditional ones, Hassan, you, people who have done amazing, Jude, then there are people like Philip, and every club, and this is what I love about it, every club has their person who either does pro bono or eats for money after a week. <laughs> Or that money that is never going to come, you know. When the sponsor comes. <laughs> but then, why do people gossip in rugby? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are girlfriends and girlfriends and side chicks. The wife. I think side chick and watch him over later. Allow us to go. I don't know if there's no ring, it's open market. To the management, fat cats, just give us another day because. <laughs> No, but we can continue now. If you see, they are there because they are looking for relationships. <laughs> and Rupen is my boss, you guys. I'm over just. They am but the nail special could shoot. So in the tebing quarter, But Bruno is mine. Even when we go for quiz, Bruno is mine. Okay. Yeah. You can try with Joel and then Bruno sees me as a bro. I don't think he sees my boobs. <laughs> Broken. Ah, is he a probably budgeting amongst the three of you? I mean, uh, Bruno, my Bruno, Bruno treats me badly. Even Ruben, I have hope with Joel, but I'm not too sure. Bruno is what? I'm a Bruno, Bruno and Abanga, bro, you have no idea.